Hey everyone, I know that I have not been putting out any videos, Go videos in particular, uh, of late. However, that does not mean for an instant that there are no interesting games to be going over. I get a lot of questions, either email, commented on YouTube, whatever of what games should I be looking over, what games should I be studying, and here are my picks for this week. Um, all of the links you'll notice are down below, so you can further check out the ones you like and ignore the ones that you don't. First up is for all of you Influence fans. Here we have a game, uh, you probably can't make out his name on my screen, but a game between a professional 9-don and a professional 3-don. 9-don, his name is Sung Taikun. I've had my eye on this player for quite a while. Sadly, he doesn't win, but that's okay, because this game is interesting anyway. If you, do, if you do decide to check it out, you will notice that Black is a very, very bold player. He develops a lot of influence, and he is not at all shy about doing so. He doesn't hide what he's doing. It's right there, in your face. You know what he's doing. His opponent knew what he's doing, and he was just like, Yup, this is how I'm going to try to beat you. What do you do now? And all around, in a very interesting game. One that you don't typically see from a lot of Koreans, but definitely an energetic one nonetheless. So those of you who are fans of Influence Go, you might want to go ahead and check this out, because this game is very, very bold on that front, and you probably will like it. Next up, Maybe you do not like Influence Go. Maybe you are maybe trying to become more of a balanced player. You're trying to work on just becoming a nice, solid player. No real weaknesses in your games. Not really leaning towards one style or another. This game was a bit more indicative of that. We have frameworks being built. We have invasions. We have reductions. We have a couple of weak groups, so, you know, we have to figure out how to, use, how to use them, how to defend them, when to defend them, that sort of thing. A couple of more reductions. Essentially, an all-around more balanced game of Go than the one that I just mentioned. So, if that's more your style, again, go ahead and check out uh, this game. Link's down below, and I hope you enjoy it. Now, for you fighting fans. Unfortunately, this game's going to be a little bit more difficult to actually come across. Because this game was played on Taigen between two very, very strong players, obviously professionals, I Don't Care, and Alco. If you are not familiar with Taigen, then you're probably not familiar with them, but if you are, you've probably heard those names before. And if you are an aggressive player, you probably want to hop onto Taigen, make an account, there are in English now, and check out this game. Because this game has pretty much everything you could ask for if you're an aggressive player. We have weak groups, we wind up having dead groups, we've got dead groups that become live groups, We've got live groups that go back to becoming dead groups. All around, quite complicated, interesting to see how they handle their groups, interesting to see the exchanges they make, to see what manages to live, what manages to die. I mean, it really keeps you guessing how this game is going to turn out. If you're a fan of that, definitely hop on to Taigem. Check out Alco versus I Don't Care. All three of these games most definitely candidates to my lectures. I am eyeing all of these. Maybe I'll be going over them in detail in one of my lectures. Maybe I won't. If you think you want to see one of these games uh, more in detail, if you think they will make a good game for a lecture, go ahead, drop a comment, let me know. Only way I'm going to find out. 
And while you're at it, uh, I haven't had another game in my KGS series for a while. Uh, my co-commentator's been a little bit ill, and she's been a little bit self-conscious. Some of the negative feedback got into her a little bit, so also, if you'd like to see her back, go ahead, make sure you leave a comment, she will be reading them, and it might encourage her to continue. So, that's it for this week. I'll probably bring you some more recommendations as I find them. Hope you enjoyed them, and take care.